Like you gotta hold back if I start flying at your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one thing. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you've been subscribed for a while, then welcome back. And if you're new, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Today, I have my sister with me. She is a special guest for today's video. This is my sister and today we're going to do a sister tag <laughs> that no one asked for. The goal of this challenge is to see how well we know each other. So we looked up some questions online. Oh wait, wait, I forgot. If you guys want to connect with us, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna throw some Instagram things here. So we looked up some questions online and we're gonna see how well we know each other. Okay. Number one is describe each other in one word. <laughs> Zany. Zany. I was gonna say tangy, but then that's a fruit description. Zany is more like... I'm sour. No, no. Zany, Zany is like a candy description. You're like candy. You have this really cool vibe. You're talented. You're electric. So I would describe you as Zany. That's why I pick Zany. You're like a really cool candy. Okay, um... Wait, oh, you didn't oh, describe me! me. Yeah, da, 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 I have that memory. Okay. We literally just asked the question like two seconds ago. How I know! Can you I, forgot? I know. I wow. don't have many words in my vocabulary to describe you. Because I leave you speechless. I mean, this. For one word, it's not... I don't... I can't describe you in one word because it's not really a word for me. It's like a phrase. Try, don't think too hard about this. I, just I am on. the kind of person that thinks really hard on these things. We're only in question one. We're never going to get through. I think you're all knowing. Wow. I think you're all knowing. Oh, wow. Like, like if I were to put an anime reference on this, you're kind of like... You're kind of like Kite and Netero. Um, Kite, the person that died. But he's like, he knows a lot. And also, Netero also knows a lot. So I'm annoying, but I also know a lot. Kai is annoying to you? You just said the word that you're gonna describe me as annoying. No, I said all knowing. I heard annoying. <laughs> no, me bonk you on the head, bro. I feel like Yoda. Yeah, like Yoda. Oh like Yoda. God. Because, um, like, I come to you a lot for advice and you seem to always give me a new perspective about things. And like, you also... Oh. Like, not not just that, you also can understand other perspectives as well. That's mm -hmm. why I'm like, you're all knowing, like, you understand. Next one, who is older and who is younger? I'm older. What's one thing you have in common? We both like anime. Oh yeah. I would say that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. We both, we both dye our hair. We both care about school and education. We like to relax. Uh, do we really care about school and education? Yes, yes, do we, we do. Yes, we do. Right. Mm -hmm. Sure we do. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wait, we just named like five things. We didn't. We only named one. Oh. Uh, what's something that you find the most annoying about your sibling? You have a whole list, don't you? Huh? No. You Why would I have a whole list? I have a you whole go first. List. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What's the annoying thing? The most annoying thing or just one annoying thing? <laughs> Is there a difference for you? <laughs> That's horrible timing when calling me. You always call me when I'm doing something else that I don't want to be interrupted by. <laughs> or especially when you text me as well. Like you bombard me with text sometimes. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm trying to play my games. Sometimes we're talking and then I just get out of the app and I open my game. And I'm, I'm playing and then Priority. it's like, like five minutes later you start Give me a slew of text. I'm just like, oh, no, 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 I'm fighting these monsters right now. The thing that I find the most annoying, I love food and I'm all for enjoying it and eating it. Mm -hmm. But when you eat it, it's not because you enjoy it. I feel like you most of the time you eat the food, it's more like because you just want it to end and you just aren't excited about continuing. So it just keeps going on forever. I literally like only eat it because of a necessity. I rarely eat it out of enjoyment. She start eating before me and I'll start eating after her and I'll finish before her. And not only that, I'll be on my second or third food item, snack, whatever. Well, now you're and just, still now you're just exposing how much you eat. I rarely have food cravings, I feel like. I really have food cravings. I feel it's because you haven't found the food that makes you go, wow, that's good. I have. But not to the point. Okay, meal food, like something that's nutritious. 
and fried healthy. chicken. Nutritious. Oh, healthy. Um, <laughs> healthy. But when I do get like really hungry or like craving something, I just go on a, like a spree of like ASMR eating videos. You say it like it's something you're consuming. She means yeah. watching. She watches people eat. Yeah. <laughs> she watches people salmon eat. Salmon sashimi. I have no salmon idea what salmon sashimi mukbangs. Why specifically salmon sashimi? Because I really like salmon salmon sashimi. Salmon sashimi. <laughs> la, 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 la. I'm gonna replay that. Do <laughs> you ever argue? Not anymore. Yeah, but we used to fight a lot more when we were younger and had more energy. Yeah. What did your sibling want to be when they grew up? Oh, I know yours. I don't know. Ew. You go first. I think you. Okay, when you were younger. Hard. When you were younger, mom told me you wanted to be a doctor. You're talking about being a doctor when like really young and then later on I I think you were very in you were in like a gray area of what you wanted to do and you were like considering designing like fashion and then maybe like interior designing I think you were I think you told me that but you said you didn't really know so you got a half right <coughs> well first off the doctor thing? No, I never wanted to be a doctor. Never? No, mom just named me after a doctor. But I thought mom said you said you were going to be a doctor. No, really? I never wanted to be a doctor. Okay. But you were close though. Yeah, I did want to, I, I always, I went through phases where I just wanted to be a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. One of them being Barbie. That was you not a career goal. You wanted to be a Barbie. No, no, I didn't want to be a Barbie. I wanted to be Barbie. <laughs> okay. That's not a career and aspiration. Asian Barbie? No, I wanted to be Barbie. Oh god. Okay. Get her name. You wanted I mean, to be like, just be Barbie. No. Be... You wanted I think it was just... you wanted me to be named Skipper. <laughs> I don't even know that much about Barbie. <laughs> I don't even know that much about Barbie. No. I used to watch um, Life in the Dream House, that's how I know. It was just because Barbie, I think, I was watching all those movies and she was always a different character. Barbie to me was like an actress. Aww. One moment she was a ballerina, the next moment she was this fashionista model person. The next minute she's apparently a pop star. And then a princess. Yes, she could do it all. And, and then she was Swan Lake. But you did get the other one right because I did eventually kind of move into more realistic phases of actual careers. Interior design and all that stuff. I know what you wanted to be. Oh God. Missy here. I still remember because she would write it everywhere and she would say it all the time. One was she was gonna be a doctor, but also a singer, entertainer, performer. Also? Yes. That's what I said. Yes. And I asked you, so which one are you gonna do first? And she <coughs> she would say, no, 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 I'm gonna do it at the same time. Oh dear. Why? It's so possible. I think it you is do not it. possible. Why would you go to school and be an entertainer at the same time? You could be like Hannah Montana, but instead of school, it would be doctoring and you know helping people, like helping people with their no I'll day to day appointments. Like, like I'm not even doing anything doctor remotely doctorly, and I'm already too tired to film videos or even practice dancing. Who has dated more girls or boys? Mm-hmm. Well, this one's obvious. I think, is it? You only dated one person. Yes. Did That's you? me. How? But they were not, they weren't at like serious dating. I don't know. What do you consider? I guess, do we want to talk, narrow it to serious relationships only or more casual? Ones? Well, okay, I, I mean like not serious as in like, meaning we were young and like we didn't know anything about dating. Not like I didn't take dating seriously. Well, yeah, no. Well, that's no, what I meant. They, like they might misunderstand that I'm. I'm being okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine, like more long-term relationships. Who has had more long-term relationships? That's right. <laughs> You're like that's right. What's your favorite thing to eat? Water. <laughs> I should have not drink that much water either. I I remember like I there was one school year. Where I would always be stuck on nerds. Oh yeah, you're obsessed. Nerds was you went through a phase with nerds. Yeah. Do you still like it? Is it would would it still be considered your favorite? I I still like it, but because of my teeth. So where does that leave us now? <clears throat> I don't know. I would say gummies. <laughs> you gave us a whole backdoor on nerds. My favorite thing to eat is oh that's easy. Favorite things. It's Eight. a tie between eggs, eggs, steak, 
Seafood, like lobster, crabs. That's not a thing. Is seafood a thing? I'm, I'm like a food category, but it's not actual. Well, oh, fine. So lobster, crabs. Those are my favorite things. Very good. The question was, what what is your favorite food, by the way? What's your favorite drink? Mountain Dew. Oh, I thought it was gonna be something else. Okay. What was it gonna be? I, so, oh, so, like apple juice? Yeah. I didn't know that. Like I knew apple juice, I didn't know the Mountain Dew. You didn't know Mountain Dew? Mm -mm. Actually, maybe you should cut the Mountain Dew out because people call it piss water. Mountain Dew, why? Because it looks like piss to them. It's green. Yeah. If you have green, <laughs> if you're being green. A lot of people don't like Mountain Dew. But yeah. if you're being green, I'm more concerned that people think know. it's just water. I don't know. If you're being green, I think there's just it's something wrong. Also partly because, you know, my favorite color is green. What's anything, wrong with green? Anything green is just like, I like. So you love broccoli and green beans. I'm fine with those. If they weren't green, I would hate them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, wait, I didn't an I never get a chance to answer. <laughs> I forget. Well, my favorite drink, if anyone cares at all, is currently either fruit drinks like pomegranate juice <laughs> or the brown sugar boba tea. Are you closer now or when you were younger? I don't think we were ever not close. Who can sleep longer? Me. <laughs> what is your sibling good at? She's good at talking with people. She's good at talking with people to get things done. She's good at getting things done when it's a group setting. You would be the kind of person to just be like, hey, I don't think that's the best thing for us. I think we should switch gears to something else. You would actually point out like the flaws in it. Because you're you you don't like to waste your time. Only because I, I feel like it hurts to group more as a whole when you're doing group projects or anything with others. It hurts to group more as a whole when you pull your punches and kind of take off take it all on your own. Mm -hmm. okay, you can dance, you can sing, but it's not just that. It's not just that you're talented at those things. You have the tenacity and and the determination to actually follow through. Like you know how the, yeah. the phrase is master of all wait wait master of one thing jack of trades wait jack of all trades master, master of, none. of none that's the thing hers is the opposite she's the jack of no <laughs> trades but master of all you don't just start something you actually see it through like when you wanted to that's learn a lie. korean no it's true look here you guys don't know this but when she wanted to pick up and learn korean everyone was kind of like oh okay cool it's a phase whatever right she actually learned to the point where we went to a korean restaurant and she would actually converse and what is your sibling lousy at? What's lousy? Eating. Oh. I don't know I how anyone could be lousy at eating. Like bad at something. Oh, lousy? Okay. What are you lousy at? Being quiet, no. <laughs> <laughs> who is neater and who is sloppier between us? You're neater, definitely. What's your favorite pastime? I have to guess yours. No, oh, are we supposed to guess? I feel like we just threw that out the window and we just started answering one of them. Um, okay, I sure, guess mine. Watching cat videos, playing with the cat, Yeah. shopping for the cat. Oh my god, why are you going to play with the cat later? <laughs> you see, that's her pajamas, I have to return because she didn't want it. Oh man. Yeah, there's like a whole like bag of toys right here that you can't see off camera. There's... If you Untouched! Guys want, if you guys want to see what toys I got her, it's in a video. Link below. Occasional anime. Yes. And you don't game anymore. You don't game much. Oh, I'm I trying forgot. to start again. Reading. Oh, reading. Yes. I love reading. I sound like an old grandma, old granny she, cat. Lady. Okay, okay. She reads a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like I cannot express how much she reads. Like she used to get her her punishment, her grounding was having her books being hid. Like, like usually, usually parents take their kids' phones away or like not let them have playtime or do timeout or something. <laughs> but I didn't care when they took away the TV. Mom, what was I gonna watch? My something. mom just hid her books. I always found them though. I would secretly read them. Your favorite pastime is probably watching a lot of. Are they called fan cam? No, not fan cam. Performance cam of K-pop performances and stuff. Yes, I do. Is that fan cam? Or, fan cam? Or, yeah. yeah. Fan cams. Um, dancing. Dancing videos? Okay. No, not just watching, but like dancing. Oh, I think oh. that's a, like a favorite fat song of yours. Singing, for sure. 
She was singing in the shower upstairs. We could hear her all the way in the living room. You're, you're kind of right. never too. Now it's Enjoy it, I imagine. Anime, gaming, sleeping. I feel like anime can't count as I a pastime. It is a pastime. <laughs> well, you can use when it to literally pass the time. time. No, when, when I literally like, like try to decide whether or not I should game or sleep instead. But do you enjoy it? Like sleeping? I do enjoy sleeping, yes. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I only sleep because I need it. If I could go without sleep, I would choose to not sleep at all. Sometimes I do wish that because I would like more time to procrastinate. <laughs> Which one of us would dare to go, oh, so similar, bungee jumping or zip lining or paragliding first? Mm -hmm. Well, you, didn't you That'd already do one? Already? I already zip lined. I love zip lining. I feel like paragliding is so dangerous. But I would so. paraglide with like a wetsuit, gloves, <laughs> face mask. How else would you paraglide? <laughs> People paraglide with like shorts. Oh, that's or crazy. Or like a bikini. I feel like that's so dangerous because there's nothing, not even a No, it's not the danger factor for me. It's the sun. <laughs> <laughs> the honey can change. <laughs> the honey even Priorities. <laughs> you just don't want to take. No, I don't like, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, anyways. According to your standards and perception, who is the perfect guy for your sibling? To be honest, I think M is pretty close. Someone who takes care of you, but doesn't baby you? Because you, you have independency. It doesn't baby you as in like tries to do everything. And like, be like the masculine partner. You know? Who respects you and your independency. Who knows that you know what you want. But doesn't simp for you. <laughs> no, doesn't simp for you as in that person also knows what they want. Right? And you two just have like a mutual respect for what you want and support each other. Yeah, I think that's what you like. I think the f perfect person for mm -hmm. you would be the person who is patient. Why are you laughing? You're saying they need to be patient with me? I think so. I think patience goes a long way in a relationship. Okay, okay. I'm not saying you know, I'm just saying you should be patient. Okay. But also understanding. Okay. Be passionate, because I think you're a really passionate person and I think at least core values in what you guys believe in should align. Right. But I don't think you guys should be exactly the same person. For example, he doesn't need to love dancing or love performance, but he needs to understand your passion and be supportive of it. It also helps us if the person is, you know, good looking. <laughs> one thing that's changed the most about your sibling as she's become older. Um, one thing that's changed the most is your height. <laughs> My height has not changed. Or, or how I see her physically. <laughs> <laughs> how? Her, her aura is, oh, that's so spiritual to say. <laughs> that's very spiritual. But like, you used to be, like, you had these punk vibes, you did. When you I did? Younger. Yeah, you did have punk vibes. That's cool. Like punk emo vibes. Okay, that's cool, I guess. And now, as we get older, you have mellowed out. <laughs> so you're not emo punk anymore. You're very right. happy, go lucky. Why are you laughing at me? It sounds like she's being sarcastic about this. No, no, like, <laughs> you're, we're, you're a lot more positive than me, at least. <laughs> you're, you're very positive. Yeah. Oh, just my perception of you has changed. Oh, thank you. I mean, I always respect you. <laughs> yeah. I think one of the biggest things that's changed is seeing you grow up, both mentally and I mean height-wise. I've well. grown up mentally. Yes, as, as much of a shock as, as it may seem. Okay. Like yeah, I still remember when you were this tiny little baby, and now she's a grown person, her own, making her way across the world. Making my way down, down. And yeah, I, I think I see her grow and I'm just proud of you. And she interrupts my passionate little spiel about her and compliments as she goes, no, 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 I'm listening, I'm listening. What did I just say? No. <laughs> Our last question. Drum roll, please. <laughs> your life was made into a movie. Which actor would play the role of your sibling? Oh, this one's hard. Me. <laughs> Wait, let's change this question. I don't know how many actors or actresses. So we should we should change up. What would we pick to play ourselves, and who would we pick to play each other? Okay, for you, for you, mm -hmm. Susie. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna include a picture of her here. Personality wise, I think she's mellow like you. So I, I feel like she would also, and she has played a lot of roles, so she knows a lot. She also because of the mellow vibes, mm -hmm. she could also resonate with some, your character. I see that. 
For me, cool. like, would you be okay if the cast, like The Rock, for example, to play you? I'm okay, if I would be okay if The Rock. No. <laughs> To you. I love The Rock. Um, the Rock as a teenage dancing. Teenage emo anime me. <laughs> I don't know. Channel from Thailand. I don't know. I can see that. Really? Yeah. She has similar vibes to you. I feel like I pulled that out the name. Talented. <laughs> I feel like I pulled that out the name. Has that kind of almost like an all arounder vibe? Yeah. Pick okay, who I would pick to play you. I think I would pick. I don't remember her name, but she was in the Thousand Miles, Thousand Miles of Peach Blossoms Chinese drama. Oh dear. I'll put a photo of her hair. Have you seen any of her work? She's very. She usually plays really energetic characters. Does she? Yeah. And she's really cute. Do you know who I would pick to play me in my life? Who? Oh. Keanu Reeves. I would love that. Can you imagine a much cooler version of me in my own life? I thought it was supposed to be life? about us. Yes. Realistically. Well, that wasn't a requirement. If I'm having a movie made about my own life, I okay, want Keanu I'd, Reeves to play me. I'd pick The Rock for myself. Right, imagine movie. The Rock wearing a blonde wig. <laughs> reason, I can't imagine it, and I had a very vivid imagination. Yeah. It was weird. So that was the last question. Thanks, guys, for joining us for our sister tag. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, give a like, tap the tap the bell for notifications. <laughs> tap the bell for notifications. Um, follow my sister's um account. Watch kids. Watch what? Watch, watch other videos on this channel. Oh, don't forget to, if you missed my last video, don't forget to tap to watch it. Tap, tap where? I have no idea. Tap, tap, here. <laughs> tap, 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 tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. Oh, and if you have any video ideas for me or for us to do together, let us know in the comments below. And Thanks for watching, guys. Another one. I don't know how you do this every week. I don't know either. Bye.